She I'm, so she is uh, she's been up and down. But, well, but the interesting thing, though, she votes let me, with the Obama administration lockstep, and as he comes down, she comes down. Ah, I see. So you think her fortunes are tied to the president's fortunes? Absolutely. She's the 60th vote. They could not let her off the hook because they needed her vote on all these bills: the health care bill, the financial regulation bill, and I think uh, it's unfortunate for her that Obama has no way to go but down right now. Why don't we, just before I let you off with the wrangle thing, I, and I want to ask you, you know, a lot of Republicans, members of your party, are trying to hang wrangle around the necks of various different Democrats. Will you do that with her? Do you think she is not, she's defended him, she has said, you know, she thinks that he has served a long time, et cetera. She has yeah. not called for him to resign. You just did say you thought it was a good well, idea. Well, I think it would be a graceful thing for him to do, and then he'd have to consider his other choices. Uh, but I don't think this is the issue. Uh, I'm not going to beat up on Kirsten Gillibrand because she's supporting Charlie Rangel. Uh, I'm going to, I hate to use the word beat up, but confront her on the votes that she took. And frankly, this state's in terrible shape. Now we have a budget finally. Uh, but it's in terrible shape. It's an unfriendly atmosphere for business. Uh, people get out of school. We have some of the best universities in America. There are no jobs. So they have to go to other states. I think this is what we have to talk about. And what has she done since she's been here? She's, she brags about being on the Agricultural Committee. I'm touring the farms and, uh, and, the, and the vineyards. And basically, what has she done on that committee? It's nice to say I'm on it, but what have you done? I can tell you what I did when I was on the Banking Committee. I pushed a Chief Financial Officer Act and it got passed afterwards. And I was a junior member of the minority party. Have what does that tell you? I get things done. Have you agreed to debate your opponents? You have, correct? Oh, any debates that they want, as long as they're there, uh, we will accept. In fact, I think there will be one on YNN. I believe that there will be. And I'm, you know, I'll be with bells on. Are you um, backing a gubernatorial candidate at this point? No, I'm not. I think it's such a confused process. I mean, my leanings are towards the Republican nominee, but there is now a Republican primary. But I right. came out of a GOP convention where Mr. Lazio was uh, anointed, and uh, my feeling is that he deserves his day in court, which is coming. Because, you know, he's... Like mine, he on is primary. Not, well, you actually had to petition your way on, much like Carl Palladino petitioned his way into the gubernatorial race, uh, to the primary. And, you know, Rick Lazio won't agree to debate Carl Palladino. And I wonder what your feeling is about that, since you have to agreed to debate your primary opponents. Right. And it seems that perhaps the voters... Well, that might be actually the biggest exposure that voters get to the right. three of you. Well, you know... If he were to ask me my advice, I would tell him to debate. Uh, I remember when Bella Abzett moved into my district and Roger Ailes, my consultant in those days, said he's now president of Fox. <laughs> yes, is, I this is, going to be, this is going to be tough, Joe, because, you know, she's now, she doesn't wear the hat anymore. She looks like everybody's nice elderly mother or grandmother, and, and she's very clever. And now you're going to be really tested. And then he said, but you know what? Uh, I've seen you on your feet. And I think you should accept all the debates. So she wanted 11 debates, and we had 11 debates. My feeling is, why not? Let people know who you are. Let all the questions come out on the table. And you can imagine the spirit of debates we had with Bella. In fact, at one debate, she brought Barbara Streisand. At another, Warren Beatty. At another, um, Shirley MacLaine. Oh, what stars are you going to be bringing right. to your debate? Well, I, I turned to, to her and I said, Bella, are we running in West Hollywood or West Chester? <laughs> Well, I'm not going to bring any stars to mind. I'm going to bring me, the candidate, with a lot of good ideas, good energy, and someone who has had the experience of being in Washington for four years. I'm not part of it. When I ran, don't forget, no one gave me any chance to win in a district that had four Democrats to every Republican. Thank God I held it for two terms. But I demonstrated that I could get things done as a businessman. And that's what we need today, here. Now this, you, now you have... Um I have to ask you because, you know, that's what people ask about. Your daughter obviously is, is was a judge on American Idol. Where does that stand right now? Very, <laughs> viewers want to know. I know. Tell us, Joe. I do, you know, speak with her. In fact, I had dinner with my son last night who's on the phone with her practically every day. Would you believe that she did not hear and still has not heard anything? She read it the way you did and I did. In fact, her, her disappointment is that that's the way she's being treated and she feels that's not proper. Now, what could this be about? I think what they're trying to do is create a lot of buzz, mm -hmm. like they did with Paula Abdul. They're trying to reformat the thing. But Kara has a very deep career in music. She's a singer, songwriter, 
artist development, and she's the executive VP of Warner Brothers Music. So she'll be fine. Uh, would, does she want to do it another year? I think so. But she just got married, and she'd like to have a family. So maybe this is a good opening for her, too. And she has options, is what you're saying. She, she doesn't have options. to take this kind of treatment from them if she's no. not so inclined. No, and I think uh, she I think will at some point confront them on that. But you know the best thing about Kara, uh, for me, because I don't use her as a crutch. People know that. Um, I have to stand on my own. People now know how to pronounce my name and spell it, <laughs> <laughs> which is, I think, great. But she's... you won't be wearing a bikini in any of your oh, ads? Oh, God forbid. No. <laughs> I'll be kidding. wearing my traditional certified public accountant suit, and that's what I was for 22 years. And you years. wear it very well, Mr. Diaguardi. Uh, thank you. Thank, <laughs> thank you very, very much. much for joining us. <laughs> thank you. Thank I you. appreciate it. Thank you.